Hey people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be doing a redo of donuts. Right, as you can see I've got a I've got a load of stuff here, right? So I've got to mix the flour, salt and yeast. And we've got a tablespoon of ouch yeast. It doesn't say salt on here but it must be must be needed. that in first. I can't open this bloody yeast. Oh, that's it. Oh, ouch. Right, so it's a tablespoon of a tablespoon of yeast. Well, it says a tablespoon, who am I to argue? I know, normally at first. But that's a tablespoon of yeast. Put that there. And then what else is it? So, oh, so it's mixed flour, salt and yeast together. Right, how much flour do I need? Eight ounces of plain flour. Oh, nearly lost the egg there. Oh, uh, could have been there. An upsetment. Right, eight ounces. That's. Oh, shit. Eight, six. Eight. Is that eight? That's eight. I bang on eight ounces. Eight. That's good. Isn't it? That's very good. So I'm going to put that in the dish as well. It doesn't say no about the sugar. It just says mix together. Right, I'm going to mix that together. I don't know why, because it ain't no... And I'm going to get a pan because it says I've got to melt my marge. So I'll put that there. Get a pan. Old, faith, old faithful. Pan's been nearly longer than I have. Well, not longer than I have, but nearly longer than I have. And how much marge do I need? Can't see where it says marge. Oh yeah, three ounces of melted marge. So I'm going to do three ounces of melted. Well, I'm going to do three ounces of marge, and I'm going to melt it. And then add everything else it says. Right. One, two, nearly three. I've got long margin. I should have got better, bigger margin. Never mind. Is that? Oh, that's bang on three. Do you want to put that back, Lee, please? And you lost it there. All right, so I'm going to put that in the pan. A bit extra, doesn't matter. So I'll put that margin in the pan, like that. Um, hmm. I'm going to warm it up, shift that bit thing. Warm it up. Oh, that's hot already. What's been cooking? Dog and chicken. Right, so that's, is that for that one really? Are we on number six or number one? I can't tell with this cooker anymore. Six. I'm losing it all. Right. So it says melt that. Put them in there. And then it says oh, um, sugar. How much sugar? Four tablespoons of sugar. Well why, why does it say mix it in? 
mix in the flour, the salt, the yeast and then add the egg, milk and melted marge. I didn't say that about the sugar. So I'm assuming that with the it goes in with the in the bowl with the yeast and the salt. So it's four tablespoons. Is that it? Is that all it is? But it's it four tablespoons. Do you want to move that lead, please, now? Because that's I think I finished with it. So it's four tablespoons of sugar. I know you can't see with my big hand in it way. But one. Two. Three. Whoops. Four. Mix them in. Like I said, it didn't say the sugar on, it, on this bit, but it does say it on this bit, so obviously. And it says make up. Make well, it didn't say throw it. No wonder we're not getting nowhere with cooking with gas because we've got no heat on. Right, so. Right, now we're doing, now we're. <laughs> <laughs> we an egg that back at cooker with bananas. So make a well. That's good enough. So when the mar marge is mel melted, as it said, beat the egg and the milk until, oh, well, egg. Be egg, milk and melted marge together. What about the oil? They don't say that about oil. Don't say that about oil. Right, I'm going to put this egg into the well. I don't know if I'm supposed to. It says beat it all together. So I might put it in, I'll put it with the egg, I mean with it, and mix it over the heat with the milk as well, it says put milk in as well, I think this is going to be too, too wet. Okay. Now put that in the well. Mix that. It's got to be wet. And this is certainly wet. With the paper. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, all together. And I'll leave the door for 10 minutes on an oily surface. I'll leave it in the bowl to rise a bit more. That's pointing, putting it on an oily surface just to take it off and then re put it back on. Right, that's looking a bit better. So I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes. I'm going to cover it up with clean foam and leave it for 10 minutes and hopefully it should double in size. Uh, I took it off the tray. It's, I put it on a tray. It said it should all come off. I greased that but obviously, can you see it is it? But obviously it hasn't all come off but 
uh, and it said knead it for five to ten minutes because uh, it said it should well it said it should be f soft and fluffy and it already feels soft and fluffy but I'm going to knead it put some flour on it and then I'm going to obviously because uh, it needs to stand then for another hour um, it seems to to me it seems to have doubled in size because I only put it but and um, the tin after tin and when I come to fetch it out it could spread it all over the tin so that's to me that's doubled in size as you can see it's spread it all over the tin so I'm going to knead it keep kneading it oops I'm going to get a bit more flour so knead that and you keep kneading it until and then I'm going to make, let it stand in a dish and then see what happens after well we'll make, start making it after it's stood for its hour right it says to grab um, well, grab a bit and <laughs> uh, shape it to your hands, mold, uh, roll it around in your hands. As you can see, I've uh, oiled my tray very well so that I don't want any sticking like it did last time. And it says to place them on the tray like that. Um, okay. Then I'm going to just, what I'm going to do is just keep peeling bits off. Mold them in my hands and well, and put them on the tray. I know they might not all be the same size, but like everybody keeps saying, follow it to the recipe. So I do. So I'm going to make a few. Well, obviously make a few, and I'm going to put these in the oven for 20 minutes and see how they turn out uh, before I put them in the oven I'm going to glaze them with milk I suppose it doesn't actually say glaze them with milk but I'm just going to do it just to well just make sure that they cook very well as you can see they've come out of the oven um, I've left them in a bit longer to give them a bit of colour because we're now we're going to fetch them out, they've got no colour to them, so anyway they've had they've had the 20 minutes plus a bit, I've put them in for an extra 10 so all together they've had half an hour, like I said they didn't do uh, 20 minutes. So there you are, your donuts redo. Right, I hope that gives you a rough idea on what to do, if you like what you see please keep viewing me, if you want to leave me a comment please feel free, the more the merrier, give me a thumbs up or down whichever you want and if you if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed please get, get subscribing get everybody subscribing thank you bye